Welcome back to another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellen from Mr. Excel. Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. Today's question sent in by Dave at YouTube. Dave wants to create a random name, uh, but he doesn't want the list of random names to be in worksheet cells. So normally we would have a list over here. These are the list to choose from, equal index of that list. Press the F4 key and then ran between. Now, ran between is a function that is always available in Excel 2007. In previous versions, it was only available if you had the analysis tool pack turned on. So we went ran between 1 and 8. That tells us give us a random row from the range D2 to D9. Uh, so we get Ed, copy that down. You see we get a variety of names. And every time we press F9, we get a new list of names. But Dave does not want this list over here in the spreadsheet. So check this out. I'm going to use equal and point to that entire range. Now, this is a special formula called an array formula. It's entered in more than one cell. So we have to press control shift enter, which gives us exactly what we had. You say, well, what's the point of that? Press F2, then F9, and it converts those list of cells into a single array with curly brackets around it. I press control C to copy that to the clipboard, come back here to my original formula and where I had D2 to D9, I'm now going to paste control V and it pastes my list in there. So copy that down and now, ta-da, we don't have to have this data over here. We just press F9, 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 and without having a list anywhere, get a list of random names built directly from the formula. Hey, let's throw this over to Mike from Excel is Fun. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, that was a pretty good solution. I don't really have a better solution. I have some variance on that one because putting the array into the index function and doing some randomizing is really a good way to go. Hey, I'm going to do equals index. And I'm going to, for this array, just highlight these names here. They're in the cells. We can delete them later. And then I'm going to come straight here, highlight that, and hit the F9 key. That'll evaluate it right in the middle of a formula. And then you can just leave it there, hard coded in. And then comma, row number, just in case you don't have the analysis tool pack and you don't have the ran between, we could use int for integer. And then the ran. Ran. This is an argumentless function that generates a number between 0 and 1. Now, the trick is this is 0 to 1, so if it comes out 0 0.5, if I multiply that times the count here, 8 times 0 0.5 would give us 4, and then it would pick the fourth name. But there's a problem here. Um, well, l let's go ahead and count these, and I don't know how many there, there are, so I'm going to use count of, which counts words. I'm going to highlight that there, close parentheses. And I'm just going to hard code this in and do the same trick, F9, just because just I didn't know how many there were there. Now, watch this. Sometimes ran comes out to be really close to 0. And what's something really close to 0 times 8? Well, it's almost 0, and the integer function would give us 0. And we don't want that, because this is 1 to 8. So the trick is you always add 1. And then close parentheses on the int, close parentheses on the index. And that function there will work. And then I could hit my F9 key. And it does that. Another solution is if you don't want to hard code them into the formula, you could copy that array. And then Control F3 to add a name. Control F3. I'm going to click New. I'm going to call it Name. I can't spell Name. Come down here, type equals. Better expand this so we can see the whole thing. I typed an equal sign, and I'm going to control V. And so there it is, stored in memory. Click OK, click OK. And then we could do our index equals index. And the array is the name. I'm going to hit F3, double click that name, comma, and we'll do our int rand times 8 plus 1, close parentheses, close parentheses. And then so that would be a name. And then we could just delete these over here. And there we have it. As we hit our F9 key, both of those formulas will randomize. All right, we'll see you next trick. All right, Mike, that was cool. Pressing F9 right when you're building the formula, that saves the whole hassle of creating the uh, array out there. I also loved adding that to a name. So uh, 
great. You know, whoever started to keep score here, I now regret it because I realize soon we're going to invoke the mercy rule and just throw the game to Mike. Uh, but actually, we're all winners because we're all learning very cool ways to do things in Excel. I want to thank you for stopping by on behalf of Mike and myself. See you next time for another dueling podcast from Excel is Fun and Mr. Excel.